Hi, guys in this video I'm going to show you the top 4 best Sony headphones in 2022 through extensive research and testing I have put together a list of options that will meet the need of different types of buyers for more information I have included links in the description box below now number 4 on the list is Sony WH-1000XM5 the first thing you'll notice is that XM5 I refer to it as the Mark V has a new design with big changes to the design of the headband. Gone is the dual hinge of previous models, and now there's just a single hinge with a swivel and rocker. That means these fold flat, but they don't fold up. They also come with a new carrying case that looks to be about 20% bigger than that of the previous model. Sony's headphones are packed with features, and the MX-5's feature set is similar to that of its predecessor. From the beginning, the 1000X's signature extra feature was Sony's quick attention mode. If you hold your hand over the right ear cup, it pauses whatever audio you're listening to and lets sound in so you can quickly have a conversation then go right back to what you were listening to. Also, if you take the headphones off your head, your music will pause then resume when you put them back on. The noise cancelling function was excellent with the XM4 and now it's even better with the XM5. That said, I didn't notice a real difference on my plane ride. Both models seem to do equally well with lower frequencies. But according to Sony, these do better when muffling higher frequencies, and I did notice some small differences walking around the streets of New York. For instance, people's voices seem to be more muffled. Now number 3 on the list is Sony WF-1000XM4. When I first reviewed Sony's WF-1000XM4 noise-canceling earbuds back in June 2021, I noted they were pricey at $280, 250 pounds, 500 Australian dollars, but still serious AirPods Pro competitors and worth considering if you were willing to pay the premium. We've since seen the release of some impressive competing and less expensive products such as the Beats Fit Pro, Sennheiser CX Plus and seeing price drops on the AirPods Pro, my high opinion for the WF-1000XM4 earbuds hasn't changed, particularly after Sony has released a handful of software updates in the last several months that continue to improve the product. With some slight upgrades in the voice calling department and to the adaptive noise cancelling. These have a more traditional earbud design and while they're not much lighter than the XM3 7.4 versus 8.2 grams they're more discreet. They fit my ears snugly and securely and I had no trouble running with them. All that said, I could see some people with smaller ears who might have a little trouble with them. Now number 2 on the list is Sony LinkBuds S like the standard LinkBuds. These are made of recycled plastic or at least partially and come in black and white with a third color, ecru that's sort of a yellowish beige, available exclusively at Best Buy. It's interesting to note that the black version has more of a textured finish while the white model is completely smooth. Sony wouldn't tell me whether that's because the black version is made up of more recycled plastic, but I'm pointing it out because I don't want anyone to be surprised that the finishes aren't the same. As I've said many times, that tight seal is crucial for both optimal sound quality and noise cancellation. To that end, similar to what Apple offers with the AirPods Pro, you can do an ear tip test in the app to make sure you have a tight seal with whatever tips you're using. These earbuds use Sony's V1 chip like the WF-1000XM4, but don't have the same drivers or microphone configuration, so you're not going to get quite the same sound quality and noise cancellation as the WF-1000XM4. But both the sound and noise cancelling are really solid overall, and while the noise cancelling is a slight step behind that of the WF-1000XM4, it's not a big step. It felt like it was about 90% as effective as the WF-1000XM4's noise cancelling. 
Now the last product on the list is Sony C500. The C500 are Sony's new entry-level earbuds, replacing the WFXB700 Extra Bass, which started out at $130 but are now selling for around $55 and sometimes even less. While the C500's design sensibility has more in common with the WF-1000XM4 than the WF-XB700, the C500 is not a noise-canceling model. It's pretty basic as far as earbuds go, with no ear detection sensors or transparency mode. But the buds are compact, lightweight, fit comfortably and sound good for an entry-level model. They come in four colors, black, white, green, and orange. While improved, the noise canceling isn't quite up to the level of the WH-1000XM4. And the WH-XB910N doesn't have some of that model's extra features, such as speak-to-chat, wearing detection sensors, and Sony's precise voice pickup technology. However, it does have a quick attention mode that allows you to put your hand over the ear cup to go from noise cancelling to an ambient aware transparency mode. Also, this headphone now comes with a hard case like the WH-1000XM4. Battery life is rated at up to 30 hours at moderate volume levels that's the same as what you get from the WH-1000XM4. I hope you like the video. See you guys next time.